Oh, thank you, sir. You've heard, I suppose, of the death of the Russian doctor, Galinov. Of course. And that of the American scientist, Wren. Why, yes, it was shocking. And do you know how they died? According to the press, from natural causes. They were murdered. But perhaps there's a link between their cases and yours. At least that's what our people in Washington and London think. We don't know much about Galinev. Only that he was killed in Vienna, where he was attending a conference. But we do know that Wren had been receiving threatening letters for some time. But those letters demanded that he give up his research on a new low-cost fertilizer, which could quadruple the amount of food produced in the world up till now. What you're saying is there must be someone who has an insane notion to hinder any science which benefits humanity. A man who halts anyone who fights to conquer misery, famine and death. That's what we think, Professor. But why would one want to commit a crime which in the end would only work against oneself? What was that? We'll soon see. Professor Freeman, your death will teach the others to obey. They killed my daughter and they might even kill me, but I'll never give in to them. Never, Mike. Professor, what happened? Nothing. The wind broke the glass there. Where's Rashid? Oh, Rashid. He said to excuse him, but he had to do something urgently. Well, you'd both better go and get some sleep. I'll be all right, so don't worry yourselves about me. Well, good night then, Professor. Good night. Now, tell me what you know of this Rashid. Rashid? Interesting fellow. He's fabulously wealthy. Middle East oil holdings and diamond mines. I met him before moving to Lebanon. He strikes me as cultivated, having a first-rate mind and a keen awareness of world problems. Inspector Craig, please. And Edward, what about him? He was engaged to my late daughter, Jane, as you know. I'm sure he loved her. He's a quiet boy, a bit withdrawn, I'd say, and soft-centered. But he was devoted to her. Craig, this is Mike Drum. Something's happened here. No, nothing serious. Only a warning. Well, no, I don't believe that'll be necessary. I'll be staying here with the professor for the rest of the night. From the local police force? Ah, good idea. Good night. 